there. Come from behind victories. And we're in it. That's very true. Wow. Nadia hitting Cloud like eight times for 31 damage. Yeah, I mean, One this star clock. Like, I know this matchup has been played hundreds of times back when Nadia was considered number two. Oh, wow. Half a month. Just going to expend limit there. Not really something you yep. can do in the first yeah. few seconds when people use my angel invincibility and all sorts of stuff. Yeah. Long term planning. With that one. I mean, he's managing his mortgage and his credit score and his limit all at the same time. That's just too much for one man. Yeah. You gotta get rid of something. I know, you can't do them all. This guy's definitely showing some class. A little bit of finesse here. I mean. Ooh! Just look at that jump read with the bear. I mean, edge guards are so important in this matchup with, the, with Pikachu. That's where you're gonna... That's, that's, yeah, that's I mean, as, as uh, volatile as Pikachu is on stage, Cloud is a force to be reckoned with. You need to punish off stage at all points, all time. Looks like we're actually losing Chris here. I'm still here, guys. Don't worry. I'm not in any more brackets. <laughs> He'll be back soon. <laughs> Both have lots of control here. Stocks are even, but percent is not. They're dancing around each other here, Nani's staying in the air, and it's definitely affecting him. Two jabs into a dash attack there, almost caught that fair, but he's just inches away. Would have been the kill very early, it would have helped him a lot, but uh, unfortunately, didn't quite pan out. We got uh, Nani here sitting at 140, pretty, honestly, good spot for him. He's getting lots of percent here, making this game as even as possible before the stock uh, inevitably gets taken, but yeah, he's, he's evened it up, pretty much. Yeah, he's evened it up. I mean, you got you got two characters at kill percent here. So Nadi's just holding on to the stock for dear life. Pikachu's so evasive, so fast, so good at getting away from all these big options, even the biggest Cloud Sword. Cloud stepping away, taking a step back here, getting a little rodent repel out, see if he can step away in that F tilt is gonna catch a spot. He's gonna take that stock now. This comes up in stock, like we probably expected, but he's at 140% himself now, so we'll have to see how this goes moving forward. And that's what I've dubbed the Nadia, the dra drag down there into down smash. He's famous for doing it, he's good at doing it, and he does it a lot. <laughs> uh, now these players don't play some footsies, they want to get something started. Doesn't get the up to up either, so. The coal is in the air, it gets down just fine. Now that he's on the ground, it's time to do some damage. That's how, that's how Cloud works, get on the ground, get some hits. It's that great parry there. I mean, no one really is quite as adept at doing that here in the scene as Cole is. Alright, Naughty on ledge now. Cole doing this full hop so threatening because he can just rip the back air basically whenever he wants, and it's you gotta respect it or you're gonna you're gonna die, especially at 123 as Pikachu. Percents aren't all that even, but Nadia definitely mounting something here. Gets that up B into up air. Now he's got fares, these percents are the, the gap between them is diminishing rapidly. More fares, more hits. He's on ledge. Lands on the platform quite safely. Doesn't get the back air before he lands on the ground there. I think maybe he's hoping to not hit the ground. F tilt, clouds off stage. This is scary. Oh, almost gets the downer. Look at it though. And the dash second thing again. That no, that was a great uh, hard fought battle there. But game one is going to go to Scubs. I mean, it's likely we're going to see this whole matchup the whole time. Cole did tweet that his Cloud is easily his worst character out of the entire roster, so you know, maybe could see a switch, maybe couldn't. Yeah.
Right, yeah, we actually do see the Lucina from uh, Pole there, and all of a sudden, Pikachu's at 70%. Lucina not at any. <laughs> Lucina may be acting as a bit of an exterminator here, getting rid of all the, all the rats in the building. Meanwhile, all Nadius uses another big sword to try and take down as best he can. Nice safe recovery there, just kind of mixes up my scopes a little bit. Not just trying to get a little bit more on the stage, but I'm not giving it to him. That smash off the parry there. These uh, offensive recoveries, you know, often, often just don't work. Not either rising back here. He's gonna take that first stock off this game. Game two. Yo, Kalen. We'd love to see Kalen in the chat. We got some little combo started here. Gonna push it. That's the thing is, these guys often just play this battle of so much offense that has to be paired with incredible defense or these games would only be 45 seconds long. It's just such a challenge and both of these guys just push that advantage as far as they can, push that positioning as far as they can. Doesn't matter what character you're playing, they're holding forward, especially uh, Scouts here. And no discredit to Nadia, he's still playing extremely, extremely well. This guy's, Nadia's got stage lead. Uh, looks like it goes, thought maybe go under it, maybe go through it, no, it's gonna go over it, works out. Oh, just jumped right into that. Trying to get some started there, two different facing up pairs. Uh, side B's facing up. going on here for Scrub trying to wall as effectively as possible going to DI that hashtag quite well I'm going to live I'm actually going to get ledge the very forward probably net some quite a bit here you know it's been nervous he's a lot of defensive options here that aren't necessarily uh, all that worth it maybe but easier to say in hindsight obviously the players so experienced and so good at the matches for the replay 152 is going to kill uh, Pikachu up there is going to kill this soon. Wait, stalls on the ledge there for a little bit. Try and get something going. Now this could be his chance. Whiffs the up that's so sad and that's so unfortunate. He's close on the whole two and a half stocks basically. Now maybe he's got something going here. He chases him, gets him, you know, reads the dash away to finish the move. Dash attacks. He doesn't really have a fucking follow up. Not that anything is all that safe against Pikachu. Go for a little wall jump there, maybe a little mix up. You know, a lot of these recoveries are getting read by Cole. The down throw up there is going to take game two. Go Mark. Go, go Mark. Go Mark. What's going on? Sorry. There has been a sickness that went through. You know, some people are still coughing a little bit. You got something in their throat. Uh, Marth in their throat, maybe. I think Marthritis is the name of the disease, but uh, we'll have to see. We'll definitely have to see. Looks like we've gone back to Cloud. Does make sense. But uh, that Lucina definitely did a number, probably on uh, Nadia's confidence, and de definitely did a number on the Pikachu. So. A lot of little countering hits here to start off this game. Usually how how it goes. Basically, we get caught in a bit of a disadvantage. Position. Misses the space a little bit. And oh wow! Nearly the gimp of the century with a down air, a limit cross slash. He doesn't just, you know, doesn't have enough options to gimp Pikachu recovery. It happens. Deck Cloud. People are hyped in chat. Chris is sp 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 spinning. Sp 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 spinning. It's amazing. Claude off stage now with that Pikachu back. They're going to take him all the way across the stage with the throw itself. And then he's off stage, makes it back just fine. And now Cole's got the stage for the taking. He went low, and that's not really what you want to do against Cross Slash. Yeah, because that'll happen. Not 
Are they trying to close that gap? Yep, it's as even as even can be. Devil and Demon and Ghost. These guys going at it. To the grave. No, Naughty's got something started. The air dodges away, and that's gonna be a stock. Oh, he actually gets thundered and makes it back just fine. It happens. It, it, it truth is it happens. <laughs> well, not quite getting too much started here. I mean, Cloud doesn't have those seven to eight hit combos that Pikachu has, but got a lot of firepower to make up for it. Just bears on the flats. He's safe. And now he's got limit. His offstage goes low again. Again, yeah, you're just gonna get hit with that. He gets the tech this time because he's a little lower percent, but. Cole says, if you want to try and stay, take stage, you better be able to fend me off. And honestly, Naughty's not really doing that right now. Iris pack and heat. It's true. It's true. Pink Bombo definitely looking pretty clean as well. Yeah, now Naughty is pushing him off. Pretty quick here. And now, yeah, gets that jump. He's going to have to expend the limit if he wants to make it back. And he goes extremely low to keep it as safe as possible. Good stuff. Nadia now taking a little bit more control. We'd love to see it. Waiting for that jump. And yeah, can't really do much against Cloud up there. It's that, just that good. That back throw. It's going to put him in a pretty tough spot here. The jump's expended. The air dodge is expended. And the up beat. Just a little too low. He changed his song. Probably was the issue. And now, Nadia has his one of his first leads in the whole set here. Even though he's down 2 0, he's up in stocks here. He's using lots of T Jones to try and make it back to stays. Cole sitting on that top platform. Fitting pretty. <laughs> the dash tag is going to catch him. It's the weak hit, though, so he's not going to die. Trying to get in. He can got nine. Still a lead. Not, a, not particularly amazing, but he's trying to get something started here. Eats a downer and the lead is shrinks. <laughs> Cloud's got limit. And Cloud's off stage. He jumped, cross slashes for the damage. The lead is gone and it belongs to Cole. Now he sits on ledge because he knows oh, he's not going to brush. Pretty good caller, honestly. It's not super safe, too, so I can understand why. Oh, he hit the downer. Maybe he could have set up for something amazing and I've come off his quite ready for that. But yeah, it looks like these guys are just. You know, it's scary because Pikachu gets a few hits, and then it's a few more hits, and then the game's over, but... Scubs, playing safe to try and secure that this is a three-game set, not a four-game set. But Nadia fighting for every single hit he's getting here, like, he's working hard. He gets the T-Jolt stun there, and an F-Tilt, this is close. He does a little limit cross this there, just mostly for assurance more than anything else. Uh, that he's gonna be just fine and sure enough he was now these guys at even percents basically under on Yoshi sorry this is kill percent folks he gets the down throw into fair he's pretty high up here just outside the screen and gets the downer he gets the tech and then up these down past the ledge unfortunately been unfortunate but Nadia really had to claw that one back uh, the lead shifted there three or four times so I mean, these guys have played so much, they have so much knowledge of how each other function, it's pretty insane. Alrighty, Lucina's coming back after a hot two-stocking game too. I mean, duh. from what I've seen, there is no answer for this right now. And we got something started here. I mean, these guys just hit each other so hard. Any hit they get just turns into something so huge. And if it doesn't, they just battle the grittiest parry heavy defense. It's amazing. Uh, Stubbs' parry is just really so, so on point. And Game and have been the whole set, have been for a few uh, few years, honestly, since the game came out. <laughs> Doesn't quite get the card he was looking for, but he's got a little bit of position here. Nadia looking to push, looking to start something big here. These guys just trading momentum like it's Pokemon trading cards. It's that one Swaddle that nobody wanted.
interesting recovery from uh, Scum Dive. Ended up being quite safe with the air dodge. Control air dodge to float down. Oh, that dash tag just got a big whip. However, up throw, or down throw, I mean, is he looking for your down throw dash tag, down throw fair? Oh, unsafe recovery doesn't snap the ledge, and up throw is going to take it. Yeah, makes sense. Again, Nadia holding on to this. Barely a lead, a pseudo lead, a fake lead, a lead that is almost gone. He gets hit again and doesn't die. 154 on Nadia. He's got the ledge and aggressively up beast. Nets him quite a bit. He gets in there. Up air fair. Tipper F smash. That's a lot of percent. He's got a, that's probably the biggest lead he's had. I mean, he did win a game, but. He's in those last stock situations, hey? Pushing a lead is a big thing here. Oh, he goes down for the aggressive uh, Thunder Punish, doesn't quite get it. Gets a down air, still not gonna kill. Nadia now sitting at 172%, he's waiting! Ah, uh, no, the back air, yep. I mean, you gotta... There's so many things you can shield, only so many things, so many crimes you can get away with before eventually you get to do your time. Back in this game, reads the roll completely with it. Just a grab standing completely still. Comes at 95 on a second stock. Uh, Nadia on a clean zero. Tries to read a roll in, yeah. Now he may be feeling himself a little more, maybe a little bit more confident. Seems to be showing his play style a little bit. I mean, 112% here, you have a little room to play with. I mean, you gotta take, you can never count uh, Scubs out, so you gotta you know, push every single little percent of lead you have. Or you could definitely end up in the, in the passenger seat once again. Cole says, let me drive the boat. These narrow ones and now gonna eat it down there now at 150 with such kill percent obviously. So this is where the lead can maybe come back, but no that up throw, I'm gonna take it again. Go down about three quarters of a stock maybe. Um, he's gotta you can't really kill him right now unless it's with an edge guard. So right now this is not his game. He wants to take it to the fifth. It's already garnering quite a crowd here, people are excited to see how it's gonna go. Another regression recovery, gonna get punished with the first. We've seen a down smash we've seen in the set. Hello. BZ just joined me on comms here. Oh, goes for the downer to try and finish it off quickly, but you know, these guys hold, as I said, wants to take the driver's seat as quickly as possible. He's been behind for most of the game, which is unlike uh, the rest of the seven that we've seen so far. Ooh, wants that edge guard, but shows restraint, shows a little patience. BZ, you know quite a bit about this matchup. Anything you wanna share about the functionality of Lucina in this matchup? Scary. <laughs> I agree. That's I very reaction. much agree. <laughs> Everything is happening. <laughs> These guys both at a percent where they can get something going that could be really scary for the other. It could be hard for the scene that has BBT so broken and short. Right, right. This is the best character in the game by a lot versus Lucina. I don't know. Lucina being really famous good. for being a bottom three character. Quite a good character, but not yeah. the best character. Certainly not, no. And, and lacks tools that some other uh, top tiers have that have to is really good at keeping Pikachu out of it. And punishing aggressive recoveries. And, I mean, we've seen him do that all, all set, you know, pairing those offensive uh, upbees. And, he's so good at that. He's blow on line. It's yeah. so hard to do. Yeah, he's getting F smashes off the up tilt. I'd love to big see game five, though. Yeah, I mean, this is... He, he won game one and two, Cloud and Lucina, so back to Cloud and lost. So... It looks like Nadia's gonna That's beat Cloud so, and Lucina. That's unfortunate. Oh my gosh. It's the second time he done that in that game, too. I did bet him five, I mean, three fives to my head. Nice. And I'm like, you should go play. He's like talking, he's like, I wanna play people, but I wanna play, I wanna play something, but I wanna play. So I'm like, yep. I love the small bills. Small bills make the world go round. Game five's gonna be on town. Let's see what Cole's thinking here. Thanks, Steve. Alright, so game five is back to the loose scene. It makes sense because in game two it was kind of a you know, wash. Regardless of how close that game was, game two, we saw just about everything that Lucina can do in this matchup. Like it was kind of a kind of a beatdown for Scubs. With Town you can, there's some uh, pretty safe options you can do with Lucina that kind of help not eat those huge punishes for Pikachu. Good trade to get out of that combo. I want to see if I play P plus. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I 
they got Lucina off stage now. This is so scary. Lucina's Kirby definitely very exploitable, it looks like. Ooh, just makes it back. Wow. Great stuff from Scubs there. Let's see how much he basically was dead there. See if he can capitalize and get some percent off here. It's just wow. Great stuff from Scubs. This is such a high percent now. A lot of options for Pikachu to kill here. Wants that falling there, but I mean, some people just don't get hit by it. That's not it's true. I'll just go to ledge there so you can get something with back air. Not going to take it, but going to put him in a pretty bad position here with Talon being such a nice assist for edge guarding. If Pikachu needs any. But, uh, that up air is so close, and now he's got that platform to work with again. Yeah, this is a, I would not say it's Lucene's formation by any means. FD might help him out a little bit, take away some of those variables, and just make it man to man. Rolls in, and this doesn't get punished by the F tilt there. They're both just throwing out these kill options. Pikachu has a kill percent now, doesn't quite get the edge guard, but it's not over yet. The up B is gonna take it. I mean, such a great move, he's got his abilities so fast. It's gonna end up panning out there. This is so far basically no lead at all. But Cole's got some rage. That yeah, fair, not gonna take it. Maybe a little bit stale and going for a threatening, like his his body pushing it towards the ledge as much as possible without actually committing to going there. It's good stuff. Scubs and now they're fiending. I mean, Cole's not gonna approach that much. He's definitely gonna punish those counter hits though. He's, don't get any free ones on, on Scubs. Good spot dodge in the up tilt there. Oh, tries to get the punish. Doesn't quite get it. Now Cole plays such smart neutral here. So so smart with the defense. Goes for a full send on the side and doesn't quite pan out, unfortunately. But he did manage to get 44 in the process, which is enough to call it a justified uh, lead there. Where's PYK? PYK is not far away. I promise you. Yeah, I can see him, actually. He's in the player camp. He's right above Mario's head. <laughs> and now we have three up airs in a row. Now Lucina's on the bottom. The big lady with the sword. Gonna do some damage there. A whole stock up now for... Well, he really capitalized on uh, having a percent lead there and took it all the way home. And now Nadia's, Nadia's angry. He says he's not going down without a fight. And honestly, this is pretty insane. <laughs> F-Smash not going to do it. F-Smash uh, just rolls right by it. And now side B gets ripped out. And now he lets him out of the corner just barely. But... That's the thing is, you know, Pikachu has all this frame data and... Uh, size and you know all these factors in uh, Pikachu's favor to try and be able to get in and and, and not get hit. So a lot of defense is actually played passively in the game, you know, landing with aerials that find you out and all that kind of stuff. But Cole showing that he knows what needs to you know what needs to happen, what needs what's gonna work and how exactly he can get there to make it work. I mean he's got a full stocks lead right now. But, uh, He's gonna eat the back of there on the jump read from ledge. But now he's got ledge again and rolls again. Gets up smash. That happens. It happens. It's the second time actually he's got that read and then he jump back there. There you go. And that winner semis match is going to go to Scubs. Good stuff from Scubs. Love to see it.